Hey y'all, what's going on? I've got a build that I wanted to share with you today. If you've been looking specifically for build order content, this one is going to be for you. It is a one base early pressure, primarily using dwarf hunters, um, and it's really hard to defend. One caveat is that obviously there is no one build to rule them all. There is no one deck to rule them all. You're going to have to mix and match, especially on the ladder. If you keep doing the same build over and over again, people are going to start knowing what to expect. That being said, in testing this last week, I did have a really high win rate, and I did play against a few upper league players. Um, but if you're stuck in that, say, high silver, trying to break through to platinum, I think that this is a build that can maybe help you start climbing the ladder a little bit, at least mix it in here and there. But you're still going to need to learn how to macro. Top players will shut this down. Um, and one rule that I kind of kept, to myself whenever testing this was even if I scouted the opponent doing the right thing and countering this properly, I still committed. Um, I was going to run it no matter what. Very few times did I try to rotate into an expansion while attacking, um, and I think whenever I did those are usually the ones to where I ended up losing. When it hits, you kind of just need to go full speed ahead and try to make it happen, try to do as much damage as possible. Um, the downside to doing these early pushes is you're very vulnerable if it's defended properly. So make sure you're scouting. If you want to have this as, like, say, your standard open, that's great. But you need to know what those checks are going to be and if you're going to pump the brakes and start investing in your economy. That way, it's not all contingent on that one attack. So I've got a few replays to show you and a few live games. So with all that getting said, that's enough of me just blabbering. Let's get into the build. So the game first thing you want to ask yourself is, am I on a two-player map or a three-slash-four-player map? If you're on a two-player map, I recommend sending a worker to scout first. Um, but I didn't on this map. I wanted to test just going into it blind, but in some of the other replays, you'll see me send out a worker first. It's a double gas build, so I'm going worker, gas, worker, 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 um, up until I'm 10 on mineral, 2 on gas, and then I'll lay down that second gas as soon as I can, and then I'm going straight to three barracks. It's a very aggressive opening, um, and then I instantly just start making dwarf hunters. In my video going over different types of openings in the game, I always talk about how I feel like it's really inefficient to go double gas, and I still kind of stand by that, except you really need the gas in this sort of push. So if you're planning a really quick attack, that is when you go double gas, and that's pretty much it. Any other time, you're better off going just one gas until you're able to expand. My opponent here actually had a pretty good response. Those healers are nice. Paladins are good, even though the Paladins... I've learned throughout this process that Dwarf actually does put in some good work versus Paladins. Um, I did have Spearmen and Vodoons in this deck, and so once I see the Paladins, though, I instantly start mixing in some units that are going to give some nice debuffs to try to focus them down as quick as possible. Scientists are one of the units that are very good versus this composition, but I found myself fortunate in a spot where I was able to focus them down as well, get into the base. Um, it's always better to go and start trying to kill workers, but killing barracks is also very strong early on because you're putting a halt in their unit production and it's wasting their money. And right here, he calls GG. It ends up being just too much. Let's get into game number two. Uh, I matched against Hyun, and I was really excited to try this build against a very strong player. Hyun's a former Grandmaster, um, and so if I could beat him with it, I felt really good about the build. You can see me here. I did send out a worker to scout, and now I'm going for gas. Saturate my minerals. Build gas to um, get to that three barracks mark as quick as possible. I'm poking around a little bit, seeing what he's building. Um, he also sends a scout. I'm putting my barracks just because of the map. I like them a little bit farther out to kind of let me know what ramp they're coming up if I'm getting attacked. Or it just gives me extra eyes if they're planning to do some kind of cheesy tower rush. I'm starting dwarf production now. Um, you'll notice I am a few seconds later than the game prior. Um, that that one worker you send out to scout does put a little bit of a hold on your economy. 
Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But right here, just before two and a half, I'm moving out with about five hunters and some Bodoons. Hyun has some snipers and some Vikings. Another great response. He's also at three barracks. He scouted my early aggression and smartly matched the barracks and got ready to defend. Um, however, again, the hunters with the heavy armor are just too much and the Vodun's really increase their DPS. Um, and I'm able to get in, I'm able to start killing workers, I'm killing units as they pop out. Um, and here in a second, you'll see Hyun even call GG. So after that win, I felt like, hey, maybe I've got a legit build here worth showing everyone. Um, but I wanted to have a chance to show you how it works on a map where I don't know exactly where my opponent is. So, worker, gas, three more workers, um, another gas, and then another worker after that should be enough to where you have fully saturated minerals, fully saturated gas. Now, your second gas will finish, if you don't scout, will finish before your final worker. So, sometimes I will hold off on that last worker, start the barracks, and then build the worker after that. That way I don't have to go back and manually fix my workers. Now, my opponent decides to try to cheese me, so unfortunately we didn't get to really see if the build holds off all that well, but you do get to see a response to a tower rush. Um, he's going for mostly cannons. He does try to get up a watchtower, but I'm able to kill the worker, which should be your priority number one if you're trying to shut down a tower rush. Um, the imps come out. There's nothing he can do. GG. Hopefully you got to see how the opening happens, though. Um, on to another one. We are back to a two-player map. Um, we're going to go worker, gas, this worker is going to get rallied across the map, going to go scout, um, continuing to build workers, get that double gas and three barracks up as soon as possible. On this game though, my scout is about to get killed by a watchtower, um, and so I decided to start mixing in an owl into this build, and so pretty much everything the same, just before you do that push, you send out an owl, see what you're dealing with. Um, if he's got a bunch of units that maybe you don't want to fight, hey, hold off on building so much army. You can probably cancel that third barracks and start saving towards your expand. Um, try to play the light game. Or if he's putting that tower down to, say, get a quick expand, the time to attack is, is now. So right at two minutes. If you do scout, I'm finding the attack you move out right at two minutes. If you don't scout, it's usually slightly before. Um, these dwarfs, though, are going to handle towers just fine. Um, and so right here, we blow through three towers. He's got a tank on the high ground and some archers. And so we're just going to regroup, and we're just going to muscle straight through it. We're going to take out the tank, archer, take out the spearmen. Um, and then now he's, he's having to pull workers. So that's pretty much GG. I end up kind of bouncing around at the front of his base because... I don't have vision just yet, um, but that one tower, no match for the dwarfs. Um, just kind of move in and blow everything up. Um, they have a little bit of a harder time pushing into ice towers, but I think five of them can handle it just fine. It just kind of depends on what they are being backed up with. So back to a, another non-two-player map. This is a three-player map, so we'll skip the scout. Worker, gas more workers until we can put down our other gas um, and then straight to three barracks and i'll say on bigger maps and on you know more than two player maps the owl is even more so important because you want to see what you are up against um, i was surprised to see some hounds this early so i put a tower down i'm going to defend with workers until the dwarfs can start popping out. They are very good against hounds, um, but they do take a little bit longer to produce than, as you can see, quite a bit of hounds. So now I'm just waiting for this to happen. It comes in. I'm going to kill them as quick as possible. I'm going to use that spell because time is everything, and now it's time to go. Um, all the hounds are dead. I know exactly where he is because I sent out an owl, um, and now I'm ready to go and attack. Uh, this was before I swapped out Swift for Smoke. Um, had I had Smoke here, I would have done, I think, even better being able to clean up um, these towers much quicker. But he calls GG. He probably could have defended a little bit longer, but basically they wouldn't have stopped coming. So now I want to take a look at some games that didn't necessarily go my way. 
Um, so we're sending out the worker to scout, doing everything the way that we talked about. So it's scout worker, um, gas, more workers, and other gas, up to three barracks, build, attack. Um, I want to say that this is a game where I saw that he was kind of doing the right thing, but I just wanted to just jump right into it and see if I could still get the win, um, and I could not. But right there you saw the owl go out. I think that's pretty good owl timing, trying to get your first 50 gas spent on the owl, get some eyes out there. Um, that way you do have time to adjust and to reconsider. Um, I saw that the barracks were matched. I saw the sniper um, and a slayer, and I thought, all right, um, I don't think this is going to work out, but let's just see if it does. Um, if you can see the mini-map, we're moving across right now. We're rallying troops, and we're just going to go for it. Um, you know, slayers are a lot tougher than people think, but really the what, what did me in was the little witch. Um, this composition struggles really poorly against um, free units, and what I mean by that is like... Um, how your necromancer has the minions out in front or how the witch can spawn um, her little minions. Um, when, when you've got a whole bunch of stuff to deal with up front, the dwarfs have such... They hit really hard, but their attack speed is so low um, that it's, it's really hard to push into these types of units. So that partnered with right here, I get hit with a double spell. Um, the Vodunes die really easy. Uh, my whole army's gone. I was trying to rotate into an expansion, but it was it was GG at that point. There was nothing I could do. So I've got about two more replays to show you before jumping into some of the live games. This is an opponent that really shut this down well and was able to macro behind it to the point to where even though I felt like I was maybe close to... Um, getting back into this one, they, upon further inspection, they just already had so much stuff. Um, my first mistake there was just old habits dying hard. I put down a barracks too soon, so I canceled it, put down the gas, but um, our opponent went for a quick expand that I did not scout because he went straight to the third space. And believe it or not, that little delay of accidentally building the barracks and then having to cancel it, um, I think that was enough to really put me behind to where my push was a lot less effective. Um, but this push can work against a quick expand, but you have to make sure that you punish it. And since I didn't know it was there, I didn't do that. Um, I got a scout. I thought maybe he was just being a little bit slow um, because there was a, a decent amount of stuff in his main. Um, but I should have paid more attention to the time at three minutes there could and probably should be a bit more. Um, I'll say Tide Commanders, especially Tide Commanders partnered with um, Ice Mages are also a bit difficult for for this army to push into. It is doable, especially um, if you've got smoke um, and maybe a damage spell behind it. But I was able to get in and do some decent damage, but he just keeps building stuff because he macro better than me, and macro is going to always win if you do it flawlessly and my opponent he's already got his third up and i'm thinking that this is still a a one base versus one base i'm trying to rotate into and expand myself and thinking that i'm going to get it up quickly um but silly me he's already on the attack um and already has probably enough to come and win the game so I'm going on the defensive. I'm trying to put up a defensive tower. I'm trying to get my expand up. A stray fireball comes down, wipes out all my Vodoons, which is very frustrating. At this point, I'm expecting the push to come soon. And once I see the amount of army it is, I'm starting to suspect that maybe he snuck another base in on me. I still did not even think that he would be up to you. Four. Um, and so this just is going to kind of keep coming and I'm showing this just to show that like this build is weak towards good macro players and it is weak if you don't punish the things that you need to punish and you don't hit the timing properly. Uh, in the upper leagues though it's really rare for players to hide bases so on me I definitely should have checked 
Um, but the reason you don't see players do that is because they are so vulnerable. So early in the game, um, had I just marched right on into that expand, I probably could have maybe not won the game right then and there, but I definitely could have killed that expansion and then come home and started this whole process and not have so much pressure being on me. Um, so we're still volleying back and forth. I, I keep thinking, like, if I can just kill this army, I can go on the offensive, but... Um, the army just keeps coming. And this sad little Vodun's gonna die. He was stuck between the barracks and the tower. Um, I've mined out of my main, and so now I'm distance mining at my third. About ready to put down another castle to try to just keep defending while I expand. But my opponent is three castles ahead of me, and he's got a pretty decently sized army. To make it worse, these cryo mages are about to morph into ice spirits. Um, and so at that point, it's pretty much all, well, it's already been downhill, but it's definitely nail in the coffin. Um, GG, very good macro by uh, the Korean player Tan Tan. Last replay here. Um, this is probably the most efficient that you can do this build. Um, it is a four player map. We're going to skip the scout. We're going to do a worker, gas, worker, 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 gas, barracks, worker. And then the final two barracks shortly after that while an owl builds to go find the opponent. Make sure that you are building dwarfs while you're scouting. That way as soon as you know where your opponent is and you've got enough army, you can attack. And here you also saw me put the barracks down after the owl comes out and then start a dwarf and then put the second barracks down wait for that to finish and start two more dwarfs um, because even if you finish all three barracks at the same time odds are you're not going to have enough to do your first round of dwarfs like all at once and so if you stagger it like that they can start coming out a lot quicker um, here tower goes down easy with smoke kill that worker so his expansion is delayed no matter what um, and then now we take out the tanks. Um, so our goal here is to win the game. So we don't want to just sit there and wait for him to try to force him to cancel that castle. We want to come up and start doing damage as soon as possible. So yeah, killing barracks, killing units, getting in the back, killing workers. As long as that other castle is there, that money is still tied up. And that is an advantage for the attacker. Anyways, here is a look at a few live games and how it works through my perspective. Put down a gas. GG. Um, keep building workers. And send one out to scout. And we're good. We're just going to keep making workers. As soon as we get 200 minerals, we're going to put down another gas. But we're cool right now. Just keep making workers. Not even 30 seconds in. Nothing's going to attack us. We just need to get that second gas down as soon as possible. Here we go. All right. Another worker. Go ahead and make that second one now because I want to go check in on my scout. See what we can see. Okay, he's making hounds out of three racks. Okay, so he's actually going to be rushing me here. I need to get a barracks up as soon as possible. I'll put the second one down. I'd like to match that third, but yeah, the hounds are going to start coming in. It's a little bit late, honestly. Um, hound rush should get there before or right at a minute. Um, just fight with workers while I can until some dwarves come out. Try to finish that one. I don't know why he let him die like that, but now that I've got a dwarf out, I feel pretty comfortable. I'm just going to keep making workers, let them mine while they get bit. The dwarfs will be able to handle quite a few of these hounds. I just need to be able to stockpile like three or four of them and then we'll get her golden. Nice. So 
hoping they play standard. So I can show this build off a little bit better, but whatever. Good thing if you're planning early aggression is you're less likely to die to early aggression. Um, if you're this other player at the moment, you really shouldn't run a whole bunch of hounds into all of these dwarfs. Um, especially when once you saw that I've got an AoE spell. But and keep sending them. Each one of those that dies, that's 25 minerals. Alright, remake these workers and kind of reset. We're, we're late. You know, this push I like to hit minute and a half, two minutes. Um, so you get this third barracks down. Once we're back saturated on on minerals, I feel I feel good about maybe moving out. Send an owl down just to make sure that he didn't do anything weird off of this. Uh, I don't think he could afford to do anything else though. That was a lot of hounds. <laughs> But you never know. <laughs> so he's going for an expand, so let's, let's see. Well, he's got a lot of hounds there. Let's see if we can kill most of them with the spell. Nice. Smoke on the archer. It's a nice poison, but we'll just run past it. Alright, let's go kill some workers. I could go for that expansion, but he's just going to cancel it. I just want to kill all these workers. Cool. GG. Nice. You didn't quit yet, though. All right, cool. GG. All right, let's go. Worker. Gas. More workers. Here, let's go scout. Keep making workers. As soon as we hit 200. I'm looking good. Scout didn't pick up anything on the way, so start getting our barracks made as soon as he gets there we'll check in on him all right bro he's got hounds in front and he dies great all right well owl's on the way we're just gonna make dwarfs Just two hounds coming. Not that worried about them. I don't really want them to see that I've got three racks, though. I'm going to try to kill them before they get into the base. He might have stopped them at my natural, though. He's got a mini dragon. Okay, we can handle that. And just one tower. All right. Let's go kill him. Right, right at two minutes. A couple volumes in there. Just help kill the mini dragon faster. Let's see if he's sitting right here. Yep. Alright, he's going for an expand too. Oh, 
Let's make sure this worker at least dies. He's got a skull row, gotta pay attention in that. Okay. Smoke the snipers. Sick. Alright. Just don't get too close to the tower, but I wanna make sure that he doesn't come in single handedly and kill the whole thing. But we should be good. Two barracks go down. Force the cancel in the castle. I've got more units coming. Yep. GG. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and all that. I'll be back with more soon. Um, yeah, see y'all next time. Later.